Okay, hi again. We're going to look at editing mass forms. Uh, this is just a continuation from the create mass forms uh, for conceptual model. So the first thing we want to do to edit these forms that we created earlier, we want to um, select building three. You can select the buildings by just hovering over and remake this building three. So we'll select building three and then we'll select edit in place. So what the first thing you want to do, you want to hover over and find the top face and there you go see our grid panels and we can go to this temporary dimension and let's make this 100 feet. Okay. Now Okay. Now let's go over to the south elevation to make sure we the void form looks a little funny there. So let's go on the south elevation and we'll do a uh, wireframe. And there's the the bottom void did not go down. I mean I think we've seen it tip to the top, so we can just hit the line tool. Align that form board form to the bottom, and then we'll go back into our 3D view, and then we'll click finish. Okay, so there's our board form. Let's just have a look. Yep, there's our board form. Went straight through. Okay, now let's go over and select building four. Okay, so building four, we want to use the view cube to bring him front and center. Okay, now we have the view cube. Now let's select the building and let's hit again, edit in place. So now what we want to do here is we want to run a void form right through there about 20 feet high. So the first thing we need to do here, we need to set our work plane. Okay, so now we want to hit set, and oh, we had it, there it is. So we select the work plane, and we'll go and look at the viewer, and there it is. That's the work plane we want. So from the draw panel, we can do this in the view. We want to click on the rectangle box, and we want to go here and bring this guy up 20 feet. Oh, got it, 20 feet. And go across. Oh boy, this is tough. It's easier to do this in the uh, 3D view, but let's see if we can get it to 20 or close, and we can go back and change it. Well, let's go to. Let's close. Well, no closer. Boy, this is tough. <laughs> let's just make it. Any feet. See if I can key that in. Nope, I can't key it in, so we'll just go here and just make it. Let's make it. That's close enough. Okay. So now we go back and. Got our view in there. Now we got it in. So let's see if we can go and make some adjustments here. We want to align this guy. Let's get out of this rectangular command in this way. Okay. Okay, now let's go into the line command and align that to that face. Now we can get it yet. Just bear with me, folks. This can be a little tricky. But it's nice to know. But I want to show you some nice little things. There we go. And then let's grab the 
this just gonna be just move this into place here. At 20. Let's put it right in there. It's okay anyway, that's okay. So once we uh, create our rectangular form on the draw panel, okay. We can close the viewer now. And we want to cancel this out. We want to select the sketch and we want to create a void form. So we want to take our tape handles and drag this all the way through. And then we'll click finish. So there you have a void form running right under the building. Like I said, void forms, you have to set the plane, select the plane, and then draw the form across. Very simple and easy. Okay, now, um, next what we want to do is we want to select building four. And I think we're already in building four. Yes, we are. Okay. Now here we want to select mass floors. And we've had some predefined levels already set. So what it will do is we'll select each one of these levels. And later on we're going to show you how to you can use these floors and walls and everything and convert to a model, a full model. And then we'll say OK. And there we have our floor selected. So those are just a few ways that you can uh, edit uh, conceptual masses. So again, like I said, these floors can be created into actual floors later on. You know, uh, we can select these floors, give them uh, thicknesses and add property store. But anyway, uh, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. And we'll continue on uh, later on with mass properties. Thank you. If you like this video, subscribe. Bye. Have a good one.